Minister who's been waiting uh, patiently, and maybe you could reflect about the role of finance in the governance of cities, especially of Mumbai. Thank you, Mr. Richard Bardet, Derry DeMont, and Honorable Chief Minister of Delhi, Sheila Dikshitji, and friends. I have been uh, hearing the issues pertaining to all the major cities around the globe, and mainly Sao Paulo, Washington, and Bogota. Mumbai is a different city. This house is about 12 million population, 59% of which lives in slums. I was in Sao Paulo about a month ago and I thought that we are better off. But a number which I heard is only 10% population is living in slums in Sao Paulo. But here it is 59% daily migration from the mainland to the city of Mumbai is almost 3,000 people a day. And still it's growing. Everyone this, in this country thinks that if he comes in the city of Mumbai, he can be better off. In short, if I have to describe this city, I can say this is the city where poorest of poor lives and this is the city you can see the world's richest person walking in this part of the town. This is a city which houses many leopards covering about 103 square kilometers of forest and this is the city engulfed and covered in the neighborhood by many acres of mangroves. The growth which city has seen in recent past, we have a very serious problems and fortunately every citizen of the city has started thinking about protection of environment, has started thinking about the proliferation of slums. We have time and again come out with new policies to accommodate the slum dwellers. The so-called Derry Dumont inclusive growth is not his inclusive growth. The entire planning commission and prime minister has accepted that the country will grow with inclusive growth. I'm, I must bring to your notice that it's not the issue only for Mumbai. As Minister of Finance and Planning of the State of Maharashtra, I face this issue in most of the towns of this state. Push and pull factor is something which we need to think about. If you keep thinking about the city itself, city only, and creating more and more infrastructure as it demands, there is no end to it. But a push and pull factor that the people living in the rural Maharashtra or rural India, the living conditions in those areas push the person to urban area, I would say, and the attraction which these urban areas are having, that is the pull factor according to me. So the migration to the cities in this state of Maharashtra is almost now 43% population lives in cities in the state of Maharashtra. But fortunately, the state has done well in most of the other cities except Mumbai. Nagpur, Pune, and Nasik, these are the major cities which are worth living. In first 10 cities, we have three cities of Maharashtra. But as far as the proliferation of slums are concerned, we need to innovate, come out with new policies. State is almost uh, ready with the new policy, which is 
declared and is being discussed in the House very thoroughly. He has offered free of cost houses to the slum dwellers. Honorable Chief Minister of Delhi has described what the policy is in Delhi. The policies in most of the cities and the policy in this city is quite different, I believe. We have offered free housing, 225 square feet houses offered to the slum dweller, and the rest of the area is offered for sale, which makes good for the expenditure of making the tower for the slum dwellers. The rate at which we have done this is about slum rehabilitation uh, authority has housed about 80,000 people in so far, and it will have housed about 150,000 families in the new houses uh, by end of next year. Yes, we have another very Im important challenge is uh, improvement quality of life of the residents of the city. We have slum dwelling, slum dwellers, slums area, slums in most of the pockets, but at the same time we have another issue, the dilapidated structures in the town, in the old city of Mumbai, which is the island city, we have uh, old structures, maybe older, as old as 80 and 100 years old. And we, the state, has developed a policy which will allow the, those dilapidated structures also to be reconstructed. A new policy also has thought of cluster approach, which will allow the area, total area development instead of individual uh, building development. Another important uh, aspect is uh, urban mobility and deteriorating public transport. This is the biggest challenge city of Mumbai faces. We have taken two major projects. One is Mumbai Urban Transport Plan, which uh, allows people to commute the people. Lacks of people are commuting between north and south, as the south uh, area is a center of business, and the north is most of the uh, residential area. But the city has deliberately, 20 years ago, has developed another business area in the center of the town, which has, over the period, reduced the traffic, but still the effect is same, because the growth of this city is so fast that creation of Bandra Kurla complex has not effectively uh, given advantage to the city's commuter. So city has come out with the new transportation plan, new projects are coming up, with the help of JNURM, the union government is very keen and has given special priority for the city of Mumbai for its development. This has never happened in the last four decades, but this time the Prime Minister has specifically mentioned that the city of Mumbai should be helped thoroughly, and we are getting a lot of benefits from union government too. But as far as the transport plan is concerned, I personally feel the technology also needs to help these issues. The Mumbai is not only in the, located only in the city of Mumbai. When we talk of Mumbai, as far as the state is concerned, we speak about Mumbai metropolitan region, which covers vast area. It covers about 60 to 70 kilometers north and south of the city of, center of the city right up to Alibagh in south and right up to uh, uh, Kalyan, Dombuli and uh, Vasai, Virar, other areas. The point I would like to make here is the commuter is the basic, the basic challenge is to uh, create a better infra uh, transport system. The state and union and the city of Mumbai has spent thousands and thousands of crores in creation of new infrastructure. The flyover above, next flyover, above next, above earlier flyover is not the only solution, that's what I feel. And so the city has gone, on, gone into a new concept of Mumbai Trans Harbor Link. And we all, two minutes, three minutes, one minute, then I stop here. No, no, just if you wind up one minute. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> The city has gone in for Mumbai uh, Trans Harbor Link. 
which will open up the mainland area and I think it will resolve few problems of city which is facing uh, as far as the infrastructure is concerned. I need not take your time on e-governance and other areas, but I must mention that city has learned some, exam some uh, lessons from infrastructure project. When I mentioned Mumbai Trans Harbor Link, which has not yet come, but is uh, approved by environment and other con uh, authorities. But at the same time, we have learned a lesson by when we went into the construction of Bandra uh, Worli Sea Link, which will again open up a uh, new area for the transportation plan. But unfortunately, this project got stuck, and uh, we have learned that once you allot a project, it's a management uh, site, but when you allot a project, you need not change its alignment. The state and the city jointly has done so, and so there are constraints of growing in, uh, completion of some infrastructures, but basically I think City of Mumbai, we all are striving hard and trying to create the best infrastructure. But when you plan, I think the time is there that you have to plan for next 50 years, not for the next 10 to 20 years. Thank you very much.